Hello, Michael. How are you? I'm very good, buddy. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. You said... Um, I get stuck taking photos of him all the time. Why are you not fighting on Saturday night? Why? Because... Because... No, um, sorry, I, you're filming. I'll stand up straight. My knee's hurting. Well, that's partly re why my knee's hurting. Uh, you know, I, I was going to fight. I, I was very excited to fight, but unfortunately, um, you know, the, 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 the deal wasn't correct. It has to be right for the UFC. And it has to be right for me. On, on this occasion, we couldn't quite agree to terms. Uh, but, uh, you know, no bad blood. And, we, you know, I'm sure uh, we'll, we'll uh, hopefully do some business again soon. Uh, you said something about Polish family. Like yes. Can you say something closer to No, no, no. So prior to the Second World War, um, all my family w uh, lived in Poland. You know, that's why my nickname is the Count. My grandfather and all his uh, family before him were uh, Counts and Countesses. They were, they were Polish aristocracy, believe it or not. And then the Second World War happened. Unfortunately, a lot of my family, you know, were killed. And my grandfather made it to England, had my father, he had me. Here we are. Um, the president of UFC gyms said that there is some possibility that we're going to have some UFC gyms in Poland, yeah? Yes. Uh, if it's going to happen, are you fancy to visit us even just once? Absolutely, 100%. I, you know, I'm ashamed to say I've never been to Poland. I do have a lot of Polish family, but I've never been there. So, uh, uh, yeah, I can't wait for the opportunity to come there. So, fingers crossed we do UFC gym and I'll be the first there. We're looking forward to see you in our country. And what I would like to ask about Darren Till, how, how far can Darren Till go, in your opinion? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we'll see. I mean, uh, he, he's looked fantastic so far. He's got to face the upper echelon of the competition. You know, he's, he's fought some good guys. He's looked very good. Uh, he can go all the way for sure. I mean, we'll see. Only time will tell. What was your best moment in your career? Knocking out Luke Rockhold, UFC 199, becoming champion of the world. I mean, it's pretty hard to top that, but for me, that was definitely the pinnacle or beating Anderson Silva two years ago. The spectacular knockout. It was really, really Thank you. gorgeous. Thank you. And will you retire after the next fight? And will you return to England to fight? Yeah, uh, I, I mean, if I, if I do fight one more time, that will be my last, you know. Uh, but I, I, maybe I won't fight again. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, because of family, you said something. Yeah, just, just you know. I mean, I've got a lot of things going on. I've done this for a long time, and you know, you gotta at some point you gotta walk away. You know, so so we'll see what the future holds. It's I, part of the sport. Yeah, so. I, I, honestly, I, I don't know. You know, people ask me all the time, and I'm not lying. I just I, just, I, I honestly don't know what the future will hold right now. I'm very busy outside of the Octagon. We're launching UK UFC gyms here. That's going to take up a lot of my time. So uh, I this have is what you want to do after when you retire, yeah? UFC gyms in England. Oh, no, I, I, absolutely. I mean, I'm working on an acting career as well, so that keeps me very busy. But uh, the UK UFC gyms, that's going to keep me very busy as well. That's going to allow me to still have you know uh, an involvement with uh, the UFC it's going to help spread the word of the UFC uh, maybe get more children involved maybe find the next champions and then just you know it's a, a business career after the, the octagon thank you for that interview and I wish you all the best and I I hope we're gonna see you one more time in the octagon yeah I appreciate it Cześć, cześć. Cześć, proszę bardzo.